So we talked about uh, paying attention to inner sensation. And as we stay with that inner sensation, um, more often than not, when the situation is challenging, when it's uh, or, or rewarding, um, that inner movement is going to be a movement. It's going to be something physical, going toward, going away from. So, um, noticing the movement uh, is what is going to allow us to see what needs to be done for the movement to be completed. Um, for instance, very dramatic situation of feeling, you know, you're noticing, or the therapist looks at you and notices this, you pay more attention to it, you actually start to notice this, you notice kind of this twisting, and then uh, as you notice that your body is in that kind of twisted position, you notice that, oh, so if it's twisted, it means there has been a twisting. Okay, so where is this twisting going? What's the, what's the implicit movement that's there? Hmm, so maybe that's kind of moving away from something that's coming in that direction. So just you follow the twisting. And as you follow it, as you stay with it, and you, you don't assume something, you just pay attention to it. Or if you assume something, you, you go slowly and you double check what's happening, whether it's a, an abstract construction or it really corresponds to how your body is, is going. You might discover that the twisting is like wanting to turn away, stand up, and run away. Or you might notice, for instance, that the twisting is like ugh, just going and taking your momentum and ram. Okay, so what we're doing when we're paying attention to what happens, you know, the, the questions I was talking about before, we're not just trying to say, oh, I just happened to feel my shoulders tense, or I just happened to, uh, to feel, you know, not much air, or something like that. But you feel it as you stay with it, it's to understand what the movement is. And again, same thing as the sunflower metaphor. It's not just a movement that exists in and of itself, but it's a movement that is your basic orienting response, your whole organism responding to the situation the way it understands the situation to be. So once you understand that movement, you actually have a perfect sense of how your whole organism is perceiving the situation to be. Uh, whether or not it's the right reaction given the circumstances is a different story, but at least you need to start to see where you are and what you are actually doing from the bottom up, from your sunflower mind, uh, as opposed to what you think you are doing or what you think you should be doing. So, that, the whole thing, that what you're perceiving. So, for instance, I'm not breathing. Oh, I'm not breathing. I stay with it. Ah, my stomach is tight. Like, ah. And you notice how mouth, mouth is open, the eyes are open, the whole body is this way. Fear. Okay? So, that's what the paying attention to the body is for. It's not just so that you can say, hey, you know, I have tension here or tension there, but so you understand the situation as a whole.